Hey there, this is Randy from Sesame. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up your Sesame account step by step from a fresh installation of Shopify. So before we get started, make sure you actually have a Shopify account and click on install for Sesame in the App Store. The very first step when you're on the Sesame app is to actually add a product to your account. So let's click on products on the left side navigation, click on add product. And depending on what kind of service you're providing, you'll just want to add in a title and description. Now you can also add in an image just like how we're doing in this video, but it's more of an optional step and it really depends on what you're providing. Because we're providing a service rather than a product, make sure you uncheck both the track quantity button and the physical product button. Now here's the most important part. Click on variants, type in the word duration and type in your time. Very important. After you click save, we're just going to go ahead and click on the apps link on the left side navigation, click on Sesame and we'll proceed to the next step, which is to add a team member. I click on team, click add team member. So here we're just going to add in the name, the information of our actual team member. And more importantly, after adding the information is to add in the availability of when this person or this team member or your store has hours. So you will see here the calendar. If you click on the calendar, click on add interval and we can type in the actual time. I just put nine to six for now. It really depends on your own service. 9 a.m. 6 p.m. Make sure also at the very end of adding in your availability that you actually click on the save button. Once you've added your team member, the last step really is to add the service as a product in your Sesame app. Click on services on the top navigation menu and you'll see here that there's only one button, add service. Since we've only created the one product, we'll go ahead and click the checkbox next to it. Click on add. And that's it. You can go ahead and manage your service and play around with the different options or fill in different descriptions. But that's pretty much what you have to do to add the product to service. Click on save. Once you set up Sesame, when you view your product, the actual button for that enables Sesame, which is the select time button, will appear on the actual product page. If you have more questions about Sesame, you can check us out online at help.sesame.co.